me looks like Tick Central. It is, and, and that's what makes the vineyard so special. To Sam Telford, Martha's Vineyard is much more than clear sunrises and beautiful beaches. It's one of the places he spent decades. I'm optimistic that we'll get a couple more mice here. Focused on Lyme disease research, including the animals who spread it. Animals like the white-footed mouse that infect the ticks that bite them. Telford is a professor at the Cummings School of Veterinary Medicine at Tufts University. For years, he's documented these mice, tagging them, weighing them, checking them for ticks, and measuring their average lifespan. Information he's now using in a unique project Mice Against Ticks. Something like this has really never been done before. This That's kind of approach. That is, that is so critical. We think we now have tools to edit wild creatures. Kevin Esvelt is an assistant professor at the MIT Media Lab and Telford's partner in this project. Esvelt and his team have identified specific antibodies that make some mice Lyme resistant, and they think using gene editing technology, they can create white-footed mice immune to Lyme. Our idea was, let's identify the ways that old mice are resistant to Lyme disease and let's encode it in the mouse genome so they can pass it on to their descendants. Esbelt and Telford think releasing these genetically altered mice on places like Martha's Vineyard and Nantucket could reduce the transmission of Lyme disease, but to do it, they knew they'd need community approval. So in 2016, they started holding regular meetings on both islands. Thank you so much for coming this evening. Looking for community input for their questions and concerns about the project. If we're developing technologies to change shared ecosystems, the environment that we all share and rely on, then we need to tap that same wisdom of the community. I think that's incredibly hard, what they're trying to do. Yeah. Dick Johnson runs Martha's Vineyard's Tick-Borne Illness Prevention Program. While he appreciates the unique approach, he's not sure it's the right one. They're only dealing with one disease, Lyme disease. We have 10 other diseases on the island, as well as two other ticks besides the deer ticks. He believes reducing the number of deer is the better, though often unpopular, solution. And he wonders how they'll get community buy-in. Practicality, the actual implementation of it is extremely difficult, and I, I don't think they've figured it out yet, and I certainly don't have any answer for them. Esvelt and Telford know it may be an ambitious project, but if they're successful and Lyme disease rates could be reduced this way, they believe that discovery could help others. We've tried it in our own community, in our own backyard where we live, and now we want to export this technology elsewhere to, to solve global health problems. So... Hmm. First question, we are likely years away from a genetically modified okay. mouse being released. So there's a lot of federal regulations you have to go through, of course. And the first thing they would have to do is test these mice on an uninhabited island to make sure there's no unintended consequence. So a long way off, but fascinating well, if I was, it could be done. I was about to give you a hard time for taking a trip to Martha's Vineyard on the company <laughs> dive. I won't do that because I see now why they have to do it on an island, but so sure. much promise there. Absolutely, and that's what it is all about, right? Yeah. If they could do this and change it this way, there's no telling what else they could do, what right. other diseases they could tackle. So fascinating stuff. It is. It is.